of our fruit crops require a early spring fertilization to stimulate growth, increase fruit production, and just overall improve the productivity of our plant. Now, primarily in the spring, we're going to be applying nitrogen to our fruits, unless a soil test indicates that another nutrient, such as potassium or phosphorus, is deficient, in which case you can go ahead and fertilize with those ingredients as well. Now you can see I'm raking away. We had some mulch uh, over the tops of our plants and I'm also loosening the soil around each plant. And this is where we're going to be working our fertilizer into the soil. So for our grapes, we need 0.125 pounds of actual nitrogen per plant. And with our ammonium sulfate, that equals about 0.4 pounds of the fertilizer. And we're going to distribute this evenly in a circle around the plant. And you can see I'm not going very close to the trunk. I don't want the fertilizer right up in there. If you accidentally do come in contact, just brush it away and distribute it more in the soil area. We'll bring our rake in and just gently work that into the soil. And that's where it's going to become active and the roots of our, of our grapevine are growing all under in here. Okay, and I have some mulch so I want to go ahead and pull that back in around as well. I'll probably come back in with a fresh layer of mulch a little bit later. And then of course we want to water that fertilizer in. Now if it's going to be raining you could skip this step but our weather is so unpredictable I never rely on the rain and I always just go ahead and water in fertilizers or if I'm planting a new plant I always just go ahead and water things myself. We'll use the same fertilizer ammonium sulfate for our gooseberries and our elderberries. Our gooseberry plants require just one ounce per plant that's about two tablespoons uh, and sprinkle that in the soil around the plant for our elderberries, they respond very well to nitrogen and we increase the rate with age. So when they're young plants, we start with that one ounce, two tablespoon amount, similar to our gooseberries. But as they grow, we'll double that up to four tablespoons per plant. Now it's too early in the growing season to fertilize some of our other small fruit crops. Blackberries and raspberries, we wait until the plants bloom to fertilize those. And our strawberry plants, we're actually waiting until late summer to put down fertilizer.